Hello everybody, it's Monique. I am back today because apparently I need to make some tick tubes for you folks. In the last video I did about the tick control uh, precautions that I take, I had mentioned tick tubes and lots of folks had mentioned that they weren't familiar with them or would like the information on what they are, what they do, how to make them, all of that. So here I am. Your wish is apparently my command. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't mind sharing this information. It is valuable. Tick tubes are something that is going to be used by rodents. Squirrels, chipmunks, uh, mice, they all help to transport ticks. From my understanding, the very first blood meal that a tick nymph gets often is a rodent. And so their nests can be breeding grounds for ticks. Now, much like the wonder side is meant to break the cycle of ticks from, from egg to adult. And that's one of the ways that it helps. Tick tubes do the same thing. We've been saving this for a year. This is dryer lint. This is just dryer lint, but it is exactly the type of thing that rodents love to build their nests out of. You can do this however you want. I am doing it inside of a mining, what's the word I'm looking for here? We use these for sifting. I have this piece on the ground, which is slightly larger than that piece. So I'm gonna lay this inside of here and I'm spraying this right here because there is a chipmunk hole right there. It doesn't hurt the rodents. It really just bothers the ticks. It's starting to rain. It's always something. Okay, everybody, we're inside now. I got out of the rain. I like to spray this outside, but you have to do it when it's not raining. What I'm going to do is basically give you an overview of how to do these without you seeing me actually do it. Yes, I'm wearing gloves because you should always, always wear gloves when you're doing this. When you're working with permethrin, you need to have gloves on. Safety equipment is important. I don't wear a respirator normally because I'm outside when I'm spraying it and I take caution to be sure that the wind is not blowing at my face as I'm doing it. Just be smart. This is what I use. It's Sawyer's Premium Insect Repellent Trigger Spray. And this is used to treat your clothing. See, it treats four garments. Read all of the precautions when you're using this. This will eventually wash out of your garments and you would have to treat them again. But that is an option for people. If you don't mind having permethrin near your skin, then cool. I think that this would be an excellent product to treat your boots with. Get this, you take your dryer lint, and if you don't have dryer lint, use cotton balls. And cotton balls are totally fine. You just take them, kind of pull them out and make them a little bit fluffy so that they're not so compacted. You also have toilet paper tubes. You can take paper towel tubes and cut them in half if you want a longer tube or you can use uh, toilet paper tubes. So what you do is you take this, you bring it outside. I like this because it contains it and then I can take the other piece, lay it inside and it keeps them all kind of settled down while it's outside. You lay it out, you take your permethrin spray Sorry about that, guys. I'm moving around. Take your permethrin spray. Spray it well. It doesn't need to be soaking, dripping wet with it, but you want it well coated. Then you just want to let it dry. Once it's dry, glove up again. Get your tubes out. Take the dried lint. Take off a piece. Shove it in the tube. Fairly loose. You don't want it to be so compact that it would be difficult for the animals to get it out. And you're just going to shove the treated lint into these tubes and then you put these tubes in places that you know chipmunks, squirrels, mice are going to be so that they can basically take it and use it. My understanding is that the best time for that in my area is in April and July, which is the time of year that I guess these rodents in my area, the chipmunks and stuff, have babies. Much like the wonder side, this is not going to end ticks in your yard, but it's going to break their life cycle, which is just one more way to mitigate how many there are. The bottom line is as long as there are animals that can get into your yard that can carry a tick on them, chipmunks, squirrels, mice, rats, deer. So you can treat the perimeter of your yard, but the minute a squirrel with a tick walks over that perimeter and the tick drops off in your yard, you have ticks in your yard. I mean, that's just the way it is. So this is a never ending process. It is no fun. I don't enjoy it. It costs me money. It costs me time, but it is worth it for me to have a small 
bit of peace of mind because we have a large piece of property here and I have things I have to do outside. And if I was not doing these things, I wouldn't want to do any of it because as sad as it is to say, Lyme disease and ticks has kind of stolen my joy of working in the outside because it's always in the back of my mind. This is something that I deal with the whole damn season. So anyways, this is how we make tick tubes everybody it's really that simple so there it is folks dryer lint toilet paper tube and some permethrin all you need to create your own tick tubes that won't break the bank go ahead and look up tick tubes anywhere you'll see what i'm talking about so hopefully this has answered any questions you might have had about tick tubes or how to make them. Uh, if it didn't or if new questions have arisen since you watched this, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer them if I know the answer. Um, and I will link in the description box below, of course, also the permethrin. Uh, I'll also include the uh, link for the wonder side below. Basically, if I use it for ticks, it's going to be linked in the description box for any videos about ticks. Same with succulents all of that stuff you know how that works however we are going to be having a new link in every description box it's something that i saw a channel do once and i wish i could remember who it was because i would love to give them credit but i thought that it was such a fun idea in every video they made they included a mystery a surprise mystery link which linked to something it wasn't necessarily about the video it was just something that they enjoyed whether it was a comedy clip or a song or a clip from a movie or anything it was just a fun link to something unusual I'm going to be starting that so when you're down in the description box, if you see surprise mystery link, go ahead and click it. You never know what it will be, but you can know that it's something that I enjoy or that makes me laugh or music I love or something like that. So I think it's a fun idea. Hopefully you guys will too. And you guys will actually follow the links and let me know what you think about those things.